You need people like me so you can point your fucking fingers and say that's the bad guy. So say good night to the bad guy. Hey guys, Robert J. Morris here. I'm going to play a little something for you guys. Uh, it's the next Air Force. Uh, she's a safety NCO. Uh, I think it's industrial, industrial hygienist or hygienics. Anyway, she discovered that chemtrails were real during her career, and then she got uh, demonized by her employers, uh, aka the U.S. Uh, military. Um. Anyway, it's a real story about how she found it difficult to get the information out to the mainstream people and create awareness. And many of us know it's a daunting and dark path. But I'm not going to talk about chemtrails. We're going to talk about what she uh, says later on in a particular uh, speech uh, to, a, to an audience regarding some of the struggles she had. And I'm sure you'll get the context uh, once you uh, listen to this little preface I'm about to play for you. Her name is Kristen Megan. I'll supply links to uh, the speech uh, below in the description. And I also backed it up a little bit in the in the video. I'm just playing the audio for you here. Um, at least that you can get the context correct and see where I'm going to go with this message. So, uh, without further ado. In this room, I'm speaking to all those people that are going to watch this online and watch it on YouTube. Because you can come forward, you can help expose this, and we can stop it. So many people want to ask, why? Why is this occurring? That's for later thought. From weather modification to weather weaponry, there, there's numerous reasons under Agenda 21 and tons of theories. But my job as an industrial hygienist is to make sure that I comply with the laws and enforce them. So it is unethical every day for all the other people that are out there that work in preventive health or even physicians that aren't speaking about this. They need to. So one thing I want to tell you is what you can do about it. The biggest hurdle that we have is disinformation sites. I never say them, but I'm going to today so that you know if anyone ever gives these to you as a reference to debunk you, it's Metabunk and Contrail Science. Those are two websites that are ran by a government shill named Mick West. And he is a computer gaming programmer who tries to tell you about persistent contrails. So somebody who isn't even credentialed in chemistry or physics or ecology, none of that, is trying to tell you that you're crazy, okay? So also on social media, don't just hit the share button. There are links. You have to understand that I have met people who used to be purposeful disinformation trolls, as we call them. These people are paid to pretend that they're you, to get you on board to believe a website or an article, just so that you look so vulnerable. And then later it will be deemed non-credible, and then you look non-credible. So please vet, research, and if you have something to write with, I want you to take down my email. It is Kristen, K-R-I-S-T-E-N, Megan, M-E-G-H-A-N, at gmail.com. All right, so, you heard that. Now, we've got so many things that we need to pull together, okay? Um... Yet, there's people in the community that want nothing more than to tear apart core groups of people that are comprised of researchers, presenters, entertainers, and as much as I just like talking about it, it's true. People that I've called friends and, and shared myself with are now turning around and using everything uh, against me and the people that I work with and that I know and, and appreciate. And all they're trying to do is help and trying to create awareness. And nobody 100% knows everything. And none of us actually claim to, unlike some people out there who think they're the smartest man on the planet. Now, I don't know who's getting paid to do this. I don't know who isn't. All I know is that it's very difficult to get anything done and to reach any kind of common ground when... The only thing that others are trying to do is bash apart other people. 
and bash their reputations, bash their lifestyles, make uh, references to to troubles that they've had in their life, and then use that against them as in the character assassination just to feed their own narcissistic ploys. I mean, it's it's really, really a pain in the ass because we are at the forefront of a huge monolithic upheaval in everything. And it's a multi-pronged attack from all sides. Look, since I came back, I've done nothing but try to A, make some lifestyle changes of my own, try and be a little more professional about how I conduct myself. And it seems like the more that I'm careful about it, the more these attacks come from all goddamn angles. People, I am no longer out there looking for fucking friends or friendship. I'm not in it for that. In fact, I have far too many friends. I have a good core group of people that I appreciate and that appreciate me and their actions speak louder than anybody's words. So, I'm not in this to try and and be buddy-buddy with people. All I want to do is try and help the, the larger picture. Try and help the situation out here. Inform people. Wake other people up. I'm sick of this circle jerk that's happening inside the community. I'm, I'm, I'm sick of the whiners and complainers. Like, I'm telling you right now, straight up. Zero tolerance policy. Call one person a name in my live chat on any podcast. Call any one person a name. You're booted for life. Gone. Period. No more, no more of this shit. It's done. Because the live chat is not a place for you to be sitting there and calling people names. And you fuck up once, you're going to fuck up again. I'm done with you. Because that's not what we're about. We're not entertaining you fucking immature little kids and you little mouth breathers. Piss off. Second, third, fourth, whatever goddamn point I'm on now, because now I'm losing it. Like, I'm not going to stoop to the level of name calling and bashing. I'm done with all of that. I'm not even going to tolerate, tolerate it from the panels that I work with. I've told everybody that I work with there will be no more name calling. By reference or by inference, I am no longer playing that game either. So, rest assured, I am not going to be calling anybody out. I will give credit to work that is done. Or if we do an ex exposition on something uh, that has been released, it's a little bit different, but it won't be to attack. It'll be to debunk something or something along those lines. But personal attacks are no longer going to be tolerated, incoming or outgoing. Because I'm sick of it. I'm sick of feeding other people's narcissism. And I'm sick of people telling me who I can and cannot talk to. Quite frankly, you tell me not to talk to somebody, I am already placing judgment on you. That's right. Tell me. Tell me who not to talk to. I'm going to suspect you first because nobody's in this it seems that that wants to bash other people without an ulterior motive seems to be the only people i can actually trust are the only ones out there not attacking anybody and kudos to you i'm trying to turn a new leaf and now you guys are making it very difficult for me out there seems like the more i try to get serious the more and stronger the attacks get and the other people that I thought were my friends are now turning on me. Ha! Huh. That's awesome. Because all you're doing is proving that you're a jerk. Uh, generally speaking, I'm not talking about anyone in specifics here, but anyway. Um, look. I've had it, I, I've had a personally difficult life and a really difficult year. I brought that on myself because I decided I was going to travel with nothing. Just me and my car and see if I could pull it off. For the most part, I did. I'm still here. I'm still alive. Some have helped me along the way. And by some, I mean I can count them on one hand. So it's not like I'm going out and, uh, and, and taking people's money. If I hear another word, uh, obviously you don't care about people or their feelings. 
those people that they know who they are and I'm going to deal with them privately. I do not like things like that being talked publicly. It's just not right. And really, all you're trying to do is shift other people's opinions. So then again, your ulterior motives are shining brightly. Believe it. And when you put your own narcissism in front of someone else's life, like with this Amanda Mary situation, I'm actually sick to death of all of you people out there who thinks that she's scamming everyone. Oh, if she's scamming everyone, then we should just let her get killed? Her colleague, Dr. Bradstreet, was killed. This isn't like some other person that came up out of the blue and said, Hey, I know GC Math and I want to sell it. Ha ha ha. No, this person is directly linked to someone who's dead. Wake up. We find out in the process of deliberation and, and fact finding. We should be doing this together. Instead, no. No, no, uh. No, you, you, you want to attack channels, attack podcasts, and, uh, and, and, and play with trolls. Known trolls, eh? Okay, that's fine. Completely closed panels from now on, invite only, and, uh, certain parties just simply not allowed. Not if you're gonna disrupt the flow. Do your own podcast. Get information. Get it out there the same way we are. We don't have to play and be friends then. How's that sound? Do what we do going to do it anyway, so do it. That's great. The more information out, the better. And we figure it out along the way. But don't condemn a woman and her husband and the 17 kids that they have together uh, just because you think someone might be uh, a, a scam artist or something. Like, I'm disgusted with you. Even if they're guilty of sin, they still deserve to live and get a fair trial. So, like, you know what? Squash your childish ambitions and, like, look at the, the bigger picture. And not to mention, if this GC math stuff is real, then this is potentially like world saving kind of shit here. Anyway, guys, my rant is over. I'm disgusted with a lot of people out there, but it's neither here nor there. Apparently what I feel isn't important and, uh, and people want to smear my name all over the place. That's fine. Have fun with it because you know what? I did that to myself and I can own it. And I can wear it. And I don't mind. I'm not here for a long time. And I don't really care what people think of me either. And I will not go away. Peace. So say goodnight to the bad guy.